Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Thursday, bowling night. I'm super excited. Uh, oh, do not get your feelings hurt if I go 600 and you don't. Well, don't don't get. I won't get mine hurt if you do. Well, here's the deal. I, you, and Gerald, have already hurt my feelings <laughs> when I did not had not got my 600 and y'all ordered hats and everybody got one but me i got a 500 hat if you guys remember that picture and that Sorry. did hurt my feelings well speaking of feelings all right let me on. let me bring up something all right bring it up <clears throat> yesterday we talked about being parents correct and thank you all for your comments nobody and i did not even realize that i really didn't express myself as a parent so I get a picture in our family thread from my dear son, Colin. <laughs> Dad didn't answer. Well played. <laughs> so I, I sent him a deal and I went. Being a parent is yeah. has its ups and downs. It yeah. really does. More ups than downs. And what I was trying to get across yesterday is the way the world's going. And and we, we went back and forth for probably 30 minutes. My deal was you can't protect your kids the way you used to. Right. There's phones, there's internet, there's Skype, there's Snapchat that disappears. Yep. And all these other things, it's hard to protect them the way you could when we were growing up. Either you had to call us on the phone that our parents answered and went, hey, Russ, phone. Yeah. Or you had to come by our house. And it, Yeah, I totally agree. So... It's I would say it would be scary being a parent going forward. As far as being a parent, there's no feeling well like it. I think a lot of and you're yeah, and I think a lot of what people were saying was you know I wouldn't trade it for the world. One and then one lady I don't know I can't remember who it was was like, you know it's it's almost selfless or selfish I can't remember the the, the terminology, but I was trying to go, I Russell Clay, was selfish. So yeah. if I, Russell Clay, brought in little Russell Clay, I would stop doing, and it, and just like you did, well, I stop doing this and provide for them. I was so selfish, I did not want to do that. Right. And so that's fine. That's where I was. It's better than, than having a child and not giving them the attention yeah. they deserve. That's it. Uh, also, you know, Megan goes back to work as full time, and I sent a text in our family deal going, uh, I guess you finally got tired of doing nothing. Oh, I'm lazy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's where we're going. Yeah, let, let's go into that. That's where we're going. And I went, no, baby, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying having every afternoon off Being can get boring. Going into that because that probably hurt her feelings. It, it dang sure did. And as we were talking about the backyard, I'm going to let you tell the story first, and then we'll get into it. Okay. Well... Last week at our meeting, one of our more or less supervisors, not an owner, but a supervisor, came to us and went, so-and-so hurt my feelings. Yep. Playing with his dog. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. And we kind of chuckled and went, what do, what do you mean? Well, said they were having to do my job and, right. and all this kind of stuff. And we kind of laughed and went, a subordinate... <laughs> Shouldn't ever make you hurt your feelings. A subordinate might get fired. Right. That that was exact, and we but it was a deal of, isn't that what you're supposed to do? Well, you're not supposed to take advantage of someone. I agree with that. I mean, if I have my daily duties, I should do them. I don't mean pass them all off, but this person doesn't pass them all off. This person, as we know goes above and beyond and does more of their work than they should. After the, <clears throat> I'm getting all the work, we're getting the next thing from the leader going, mm -hmm. get off your damn phone. That, when you stand around and text in your during your working hours or you're on Facebook during your working hours, that tells me, and this is what he was telling us, that tells me you got nothing to do. Right. So I'm going to make sure... You, you get something, something to, to do, do because guess what? Chris, Russ, Brian, Brazil are paying you not to be on that phone. My words were, fire them. 
they were like, "Man, nah, let's let's work, let's figure let's work it out first. I was like, Pff. "But feelings, do you don't get your feelings hurt really?" I don't have them anymore. <clears throat> I used to get my feelings hurt pretty easy. Yet I'm pretty damn honoring and will hurt your feelings in a heartbeat. But when it comes back to me, I was very, I, I don't know, selfish, I guess. But have you ever had your feelings hurt by somebody that you shouldn't even care? That That's what I want. I, if, if that's where we're going. Should it, should somebody else affect your day by hurting your feelings by saying something that you go, man, that, that kind of hurt my feelings, whether it's, I don't do enough work, I'm not, I don't do this, I'm not, that shouldn't affect you. Anybody outside our circle? I don't care. I try to get my point across without being an ass or embarrassed. Give you an example. Right. Ordered some stuff. Right. Hey, can we get some payment on that? Okay. And I've, I've ordered through this place a million times. Right. Hey, can we get, it, it's a big order. Can we get some, uh, sure, no problem. Pay half the invoice. Hey, uh, they're on back order, and so, you we won't get them till next week. So why are we paying? So I typed and I went, that usually happens when you pay up front, uh, not taking a jab at you. Yeah. I didn't have to put not taking a jab at you. Yeah, exactly. But it almost seems like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave this $100 for you to clean my house and mow my yard. You didn't even mow the back, but my 100 has gone. Would you really do that? Because I would come clean your house and mow your yard for 100 bucks. Well, I get my mow, my yard mowed already, oh, so totally. no. Okay. You're and right. I've seen yeah. you clean. You're right. Something. Let's just stack it real organized, but let's don't really scrub it, scrub it. No, just just cover that dirt up. Let's hide it up. Right. But you're right. That that is a, that is a great point of people, man. And, and Facebook is the worst. Facebook is the worst. If somebody does something to somebody and you get a little bit of your feelings hurt, what's the first thing you do? I'm going to tell the whole world what so-and-so did to me because I need all you other people to get on my side when it shouldn't even affect you. And you're right. I had one feeling and I don't know where it went. Because... And some people just hide it better. Well, yeah. Some people get their feelings hurt and you never know you hurt the feelings. Because they're true. not going to bring it up. They're not going to start confrontation. They're just going to take it and roll on. So, on both sides, don't let your feelings get hurt by somebody who shouldn't be able to hurt your feelings. Yeah, I agree with that. And on the other side, try not to hurt somebody's feelings. That's a very good... This is a uh, PSA today for feelings, so we <clears> want <throat> you guys to know that... Be kind. I mean, you think that camera that fell 20 feet didn't have feelings? When it shattered on the ground and you picked up every little piece in your little hand and threw it in the trash and had to go, hey, man, we get that camera up Friday. I dropped it. Oh, I still got the broken pieces over there. <clears throat> that hurt my feelings. Yeah. I hurt. pulled up that camera and there's one little square not working. <laughs> it just makes me... Oh, it is. hurt my feelings looking at that. <laughs> I thought he meant the camera I broke, our good one. But, yes, I let's, you know what? Blame and change. So. No, those guys are great. Uh, dropped it. Bam, we'll get it. Ordered a new one to be here up tomorrow. Anyway. Today's sponsor, Prestige Tees. Now, Presto look, Tees. Look, K-Dub over at Prestige, over there across from Target in the uh, Baskin-Robbins. Oh, the don't say center. that word. We're on a diet. Uh, <clears throat> does one-offs. So, and this is a pretty nice one or one million. It don't matter. You can do it all. Yeah, and it's a that's a this is soft a soft tea. shirt, and they're 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 laser printed, so they're not screen screen text. They're they're laser dude. And he did this for me at Christmas, which I wish he would have got a this picture because now I look young in this, and I'm looking old here. So that just threw everybody off. Well, I still got my you got your my porn stash in top that one. stash, but. <clears throat> 
You that hurts my ass. feelings that all you people that knew me didn't tell me to cut that much. Oh, no. They did. Oh, they did. Maybe you did. They but did. the rest of them didn't. That, That's okay. It's all right. Man, guys, it's if y'all okay. can do me in there, that, if he doesn't look like a cop, I don't know why we never got any tickets. <laughs> it's like, oh, he's taking that thug to jail. Uh, But he's having a grand opening on March 28th, and we will... Announces it and it's a ribbon cutting. It's a ribbon cutting. Yes, the Chamber of Commerce is going to be there. Four p.m. You can have. He's going to have snacks and drinks and stuff. But you can get just one shirt. You don't have to get twelve shirts or whatever. You can go in there. You can pull up the computer, pull it, print it up, and go. I want this right here on that shirt. So get over there and see Keith. Uh, and what he's saying is, you, you, everybody's had that idea. Man, that'd make a good T-shirt. Yeah, that'd make a good shirt. Ooh. Whip over to the Keith. He'll whip that shirt up for you. I'm glad you. He'll probably that. even design it for you. You can. I'm glad you brought that number down for me. Yeah. I have had a million ideas, and the thing is, I want to go. Man, we ought to just put that that, <clears throat> that deal on this shirt. And you go, well, we got to pay a thirty five dollar deal. We got to get twelve shirts, so it's going to cost me one hundred ninety six dollars. Now I can just go in there and go, hey, I just want one shirt because he printed just this shirt for me for Christmas. Right. And you know, it's ten twelve bucks, and you have it, and you're done. So, get over there and see him. It's our sponsor for the day. There you go, K-Dub. Okay, we're out of here. <laughs> Guess that's it. You know what the food special is? I do not know what the food special is. Wait. It's already up, trust me. But It already says it right here. Yeah, but I, I, we, can, we can read it out loud. Just got to scroll through my, my text. That, Shouldn't be too many. Oh. Wait for it. <clears throat> I don't have my glasses on. So. Steak with mashed potatoes. Woo! You read that Steak with screen? mashed potatoes awesome. and vegetables. Eight dollars? I think Barry's messing up on some Jeez, of that stuff. That's hey. too cheap. With a drink. Y'all notice the, uh... And the, tomorrow is, uh... What's the, the, my, um... Mahi, 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 fish taco. I'll just have the one mahi, please. Well, you notice she's not whining the dog anymore, but she's getting a little more rambunctious. So we had a little accident yesterday where she hurt her sister's shoulder. <clears throat> so I got to watch out for that. All right, remember, thanks for all the comments today. Don't get your feelings hurt. Tell us about it if you do. If somebody hurts your feelings, you don't have to name their names unless you want to. We don't care. But... Thanks for all the comments, and I'm glad you guys enjoy being parents. I'm glad Last you thing. enjoy being a parent. Mondays. <gasps> Mondays. We are going to do the show from the backyard. Every Monday. Every Monday, and we are inviting a sponsor a week to yeah. come down and sit in and tell a little bit about their company and stuff. Yeah, and it's going to be between 9.30 and 10, so uh, yeah, I'll leave here at 9 o'clock. Yep. So right there, 9, 30, and 10. And uh, you can just come in and shoot the bull and, and So talk. just text Mondays. us or send us a Facebook or something. When, when you're available, we'll get you in. Uh, you know, Fiat, maybe you bring a, one of your, your cars over. Uh, Shane, leave, don't bring the broken camera. Bring just the good one. We'll shoot it where it was fail. You know, Keith can bring some tees. Maybe some giveaway tees. Yeah. Maybe you can bring some giveaway tees and we'll give them to you some know what? and stuff. K-Dub. <clears throat> Chris, who I just volunteered, is going to send you a Good Morning with Chris and Russ shirt. Okay. And that's what we'll do. Even if we got to we're gonna make the first couple. Let's do this: a small, medium, large, extra large, double X, and we'll have five shirts. We'll to give do away it, and we on gotta, the day he comes. Yeah, and we'll give them away on the show, and that would be awesome. Man, we did some a long time ago. It says I wake up every morning with Chris and Russ. They were good. Yeah, they were good. A lot of girls wore mine that I uh, actually did wake up. So, <laughs> Stephanie was one of them. <clears throat> That's true. Until tomorrow, watch, like, and share. And, hey, thanks for all of everybody watching our videos of our chicken wings, of our hamburger with Brian, Ooh. with our steak balls with you. Tim shot it. I think it's a great idea. It if you, so you want to put one good. after the show? I am. I'm okay. going to put – I'll put uh, Chris's up. Uh, steak balls. Steak balls at the end of the show if you haven't seen it. And uh, enjoy it. We're going to get out of here. Till tomorrow, which we won't be here. Monday. Brett Hendricks, Phoenix Theory this weekend. Ooh. Big weekend. Till Monday, at the backyard. I am Russ. This is Chris. We are out of here.